The Invisible Boy. Written. Can you see Brian? The Invisible Boy. Even Miss Carlotti has trouble noticing him in her classroom. She's too busy dealing with Nathan and Sophie. Nathan has problems with what Miss Carlotti calls volume control. He uses his outside voice inside too much. Sophie whines and complains when she doesn't get her way. Nathan and Sophie take up a lot of space. Brian doesn't. When the bell rings for recess, Mika and JT take turns choosing kids for their kickball teams. The best players get picked first, then the best friends of the best players, then the friends of the best friends. Only Brian is left, still waiting and hoping. JT glances in Brian's direction and just as quickly looks away. We've got enough players for each team, he tells others. Let's play ball. In the cafeteria, Madison and her friends talk about her birthday party. The rope swing over the pool was awesome, says JT. Yeah, so was the water slide, adds Fiona. That was the best pool party ever. I'm so glad you guys had fun, says Madison. Everybody did, except Brian. He wasn't invited. At choosing time, while the other kids played board games and read, Brian sits at his table, doing what he loves to do best. He draws fire-breathing dragons scaling tall buildings, space aliens locked in intergalactical battles. Good morning, Miss Carlotti introduces Justin, a new student, to the class. Brian smiles shyly at him. Some of the other kids sneak looks at Justin, trying to figure out if he's cool enough to be their friend. They haven't quite made up their minds yet. At lunch, Madison and JT watch Justin eat with chopsticks. What's that? asks Madison as she points at Justin's food. It's bologna. Bull what? And the kids laugh, all of them. That is, except Brian. He sits there, wondering... Which is worse, being laughed at or feeling invisible? Bulgagi. It's Korean. Barbecue beef. My grandma made it for me. It's really good. Do you want to try some? There's no way I'd eat bulgagi. The next day, when Justin goes to his cubby to put away his backpack, he notices a piece of paper with his name on it. Justin. I thought the bulgogi looked good. Brian, yum! At morning recess, Brian finds a piece of chalk on the ground and starts drawing. You're Brian, right? Yeah. Thanks for the note. Hey, Justin, Amelia calls out from the center court. You're up next. Sorry, I gotta go, says Justin. By the way, that's a real cool dress. He adds before taking off. Back in class, Miss Carlotti asks for kids to team up in twos or threes. For a special project, the kids scurry around, the room to pair off. Brian heads towards Justin. I'm all ready with Justin, says Emilio. Find someone else. Brian looks at the floor, wishing he could draw a hole right there to swallow him up. Miss Carlotti said we could have up to three people in our group. We're only two. Come on, Emilio. Let him work with us. Okay, I guess. Use your imagination and have fun. Miss Carlotti gives the class directions for the project. Your assignment is to work together to write a story about what you see in that photograph. Whoa, cool, says Emilio. What kind of people do you think? would live in a house like that. I don't know, but I bet Brian could draw them to go with our story, says Justin. Brian smiles as he takes out his lucky pen. Brian, over here! Brian turns.